So if that didn't scare you, in addition to the existing economic woes, the director of the FBI says that American companies should be on alert for cyber attacks from Russia. So what can companies do to protect you, your family, and your wallet? Well, we want to go to cybersecurity expert David Kennedy. He's here with answers on that. But David, I want to get your reaction to the FBI director. He has some thoughts on this. Take a look. With the ongoing conflict raging in Ukraine, we're particularly focused on the destructive cyber threat posed by the Russian intelligence services. Most cyber attacks don't just happen in an instant. There's activity that leads up to it. So, David, obviously Russia is going to attack companies, but I, I want to get specific. What do you think the, the number one targets are? Uh, do, is there a potential of them taking or, or shutting down my debit card or credit card? The financial sector is still a major risk that we're concerned with. You know, when we look at like the three major uh, categories of what we would expect retaliation from in Russia. It's going to be logistics and supply chain. So think of like UPS and FedEx and logistics companies that handle import and export. Our supply chains are already vulnerable, uh, you know, based on the backups and everything we've been having. And you couple that with, with cybersecurity threats, uh, it's a major issue. Uh, manufacturing, uh, financial, and our critical infrastructure are some of the key areas that we're most concerned with right now. And uh, there's absolutely the potential for targeting massive financial institutions. And we think that will be a major retaliation due to the swift sanctions that we saw uh, happen from the United States and, you know, our Western allies. So it's one of those things that we're extremely cautious right now. We're seeing some very heightened elevation from Russia where they're doing more of the reconnaissance phases, looking at, hey, who can we target? Who can we attack? Which are often precursors to major attacks that we see from Russia. How are we doing? I understand our defensive posture, but... What about us going on the offense to attack Russia even more? Russia has been actually trying to cut as much access as possible to the public Internet. In fact, uh, they had a mandate as of last month to where, you know, all businesses had to basically cease existence on the public Internet. That would be non-Russian assets. So they're trying to create a, a little bit of a gap there to provide some sort of level. But we have a number of, of capabilities on the cyber warfare front to go on the offensive that would allow us to cause some major damage to uh, the Russian uh, military, the Russian regime, uh, everything we see from a Russian capabilities perspective. And we're very good at that. Uh, we're very good at military incursions on the cyber warfare side with Cyber Command. We're also very good on the military intelligence side of the house with the NSA and what we have from a number of different cyber capabilities. So those are definitely all on the table if we were to see some sort of attack from Russia. Yeah. If we're going to attack Putin, we got to really bring him down to his knees. Um, and, and it Cyber is definitely a big component of that. David, thanks so much for joining me on Cross Country. Yeah, thanks for having me on. Appreciate it. You got it, brother.